Welcome to part three of PHP and MySQL working together. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to connect to our website so we can upload files and folders to our, to our website server. So what we need to do is go to File, and we're going to go to our Site Manager. We have an area here where we can create a new site. So what we want to do is we're going to create a new site and the site name for this website is resource leader. Now we have resource leader and now we have to fill some of these fields out here so we can connect to it. And the first field that we need to fill out is going to be the host. So for the host we can use the IP address which we used in our PHP page. So let's go check that out and we can copy it, copy, and then take it back over there and paste it in. Right click paste and then we need our username now keep in mind that this is not the username and password of the database that we created or the user for the database we created this is the username and password for your website so you need to get your username and password for your website or the FTP account that you may have set up and put that right here all right now, once you've got that in there, go up here to Advanced. We can set up our local directory and our remote directory. So then I can see my local directory and my remote server side by side. First, you want to browse to whatever your local directory is for your website. Mine is right there. And then for the remote directory on Hostinger anyway, we're going to type slash domains slash and then the domain name resourceleader.com and then a slash public HTML. And after that, we want to select synchronized browsing so we can see our local directory and our remote directory side by side all the time. After that, just hit connect. And if we did everything right, we should see files on our remote server on this side and then we have the files on our local machine they're obviously different because this is just the default page so what we want to do is we could just delete that one and then we'll upload our index file now first go around it'll ask you do you want to overwrite uh, what's going on you have some choices here I always use this action I just overwrite it okay so now we've got the index page in there and then we have our examples right over here, which we don't have a directory over here called examples. So now we have a little error. So we just hit cancel there. So I'll just go ahead and upload that one as well. Then we can synchronize browse through that one. So if I go into this folder now, I can see our tech talk PHP file is in there. It's on the server now and it's also on the local machine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go on back over to the Tech Talk PHP on the local drive here and we're going to make a small adjustment here so we can find out if our database connection is working properly. Back up to our function database connect. Normally when we're running this function it's going to return the connection and we can use the connection but in this case I want to actually see whether or not we are getting a good connection. In order to do that, we'll just make a change here. If we don't have a good connection, we will echo bad connection, okay? And then we'll return. And then if everything goes good, we'll echo good connection. Now, before we can execute this on the server, we need to call our database connect function. Right after it's created, we can call it database connect. And there it is. Now we'll just save that and go upload it to the server and try it out in the browser. Save. Go over here to FileZilla, right click and upload. That's complete. Let's go view it in the browser and we can see that we have a good connection. Now I'm just going to go back over to the PHP page, Tech Talk, and change that back to returning the actual connection. Okay. I've returned everything back to the way it was. Now we're ready to move on to part four which is creating a MySQL table in PHP. 